Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to your Rouse channel. My name is India and today we're going to be exploring another movie, checking it off the list. Goodfellas. Okay, another, I do believe, mafia movie. Let me know what movies you guys want me to do and of course your girl will get to it. Explore it through my eyes for the first time. And of course, you guys give me your opinions. What would you rate it? How did you feel? Let's see if we have the same feeling. Goodfellas came out in 1990s. It is rated 80%. It has to be good. It might be good to a lot of people. Did you go over a Jimmy. bump? What's up? Did I hit something? You didn't notice that you hit something? Someone's in your trunk? And you didn't know? I don't think you need to get the knife out. He's in a trunk. That means he needs help. Oh, we supposed to be dead. Oh my. Stabby. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Because stabbing wasn't enough? No, because what was that? <laughs> to me, being a gangster was better than being president of the United States. They weren't like anybody else. I mean, they did whatever they want. Yeah, but do you see the other part that comes with the cash and the respect? At first, my parents loved that I found the job across the street from the house. I was the luckiest Look kid in the him. world. Wise guys would pull up and Tootie would toss me their keys and let me park their Cadillac. For them, the cab stand was supposed to be a part-time job, but for me, it was definitely full-time. Every day I was learning to score. A dollar here, a dollar there. He was pissed that there were seven of us living in such a tiny house. He take his anger out on you. <laughs> Hung around the cab stand. He knew what went on at that cab stand. And every once in a while... Nah, because that bring back memories. That bring back memories. I'm cool. Have to take a beating. What do you mean you can't make it anymore? You're gonna fuck everything up. My dad said he's gonna kill me. Or no. Oh, the mailman. This is uncalled for. <laughs> Tell the boy to go to school. And then when he gets off, do the taxi. Yeah. Another letter from that school goes to that kid's house. Finally, after a couple of weeks, my mother had to go to the post office and complain. Uncalled for. Never seen it. They used to get all his calls secondhand. Then you'd have to call the people back from an outside phone. For a guy who moved all day long. Paulie didn't talk to six people, and only the top guys can meet with Paulie to discuss the problem. And all they got from Paulie was protection from other guys looking to rip them off. Didn't have to wait in line at the bakery on Sunday mornings anymore for fresh bread. I mean, at 13, I was making more money than most of the grown-ups in the neighborhood. At 13, I mean, I had more money. that's all we seen was the cash. Yeah, then. Oh my God, you look like a gangster. I think that was the plan. That was the first time I'd ever seen anyone shot. I knew Polly didn't want anybody dying in the building. Let's care a little bit. Gosh. When I first met Jimmy Conway, he couldn't have been more than 28 or 29 at the time, but he was already a legend. I mean, the bartender got 100 just for keeping the ice cubes cold. <laughs> nice job. Introduction. Thank you. All right. Keep coming. See, Jimmy was one of the most feared guys. I mean, he actually enjoyed it. Jimmy was the kind of guy who rooted for the bad guys in the movies. And almost all of them were gimmies. I mean, they just gave it up, no problem. It's a whole big family. <laughs> Recruit them while they're young. Makes me sad. When the cops, they assigned the whole army to stop Jimmy. You have broke dreams. All you know is broke. So when you see somebody make a cash, you're gonna wonder, damn, how do they do it? How do I get where they are at? But again, that's why I said when he was a few scenes back, but do you really know what happens after the beginning of it? What comes with it? How you doing, Joe? Rich. We made him partners. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what do you think Maybe I'm ducking. Yeah, all right. Why, well, we got permission from your mother? How many pounds you need? What? Where'd you get those cigarettes? Get them off. Sounds cigarettes. Henry Hill, the people of the state versus Henry Hill, docket number 704162. His first court date. Look at his smile. Counselor Percy. Really? Not them buying off the judge, too. And you learn the two greatest things in life. Never ride on your friends. And always keep your mouth shut. Hear nothing, see nothing. Say nothing. 1963. We going back. By the time I grew up, there was 30 billion a year in cargo moving through Idlewild Airport. If any of the truckers or airlines gave you us any trouble, at the wrong all diner. the union people scare them with a strike. It was beautiful. Like you never pulled up. Tune 
Sanders just stole my truck. Really? I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> Let's be logic about this. And then there was Pete the Killer, who was Sally Balls' brother. And Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. Well, hang them in the freezer with the meat. How's that? For us to live any right other way. way was nuts. If anyone complained twice, they got hit so bad, believe me, they never complained again. Piece of cake, it's all there. Don't worry about the alarms. Big school coming from their friends. I mean, like, bags of money like this coming in. It's the citizens. You hear the guys a piece of work now. If I'm right, there could be like a half a mil coming in. All cash. I said, all right, I'll tell you something. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> Bing. He thought that was hilarious. Bing, what are you doing here? I thought I'd tell you to go fuck your mother. <laughs> Henry laughing way too hard. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, you know. You told a joke, it's funny. <laughs> funny how? I mean, what's funny? What is his deal? Tommy, mean, no, you got it all wrong. Oh, 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 wait, no, maybe it's me. Oh, my funny. gosh. I'm funny how? I mean, funny. You told a story. Just fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Don't Just say it's not funny. funny. Just say it. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> he keep putting it on a tab. You don't mean to be out of order, not. You don't mean to be out of order, fucking mutt. You know, no, the seven thousand is a lot of dollars. <laughs> oh my god, Henry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're crazy! <laughs> Quit laughing. Quit laughing. <laughs> they stupid. I mean, I'm hearing all kinds of fucking bad things. I guess he didn't pay the tab. You know me. I would like to help you out. Sonny, tell me what we're talking. Please, I mean, look at the layout. When you've been in there a million times, you know what it looks like. Nothing. All I know is to sit down and order a meal. I don't know how to make a restaurant. I was supposed to do shoot him. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh. No, he didn't. I just, uh, I need help. Uh, he, said, he said, shoot him. Pop him. <laughs> that is so wrong. Now the guy's got Paulie as a partner. At a fire? Fuck you, pay me. The place got hit by lightning, huh? What comes Fuck with you, the help? pay me. In the front door, you move this stuff out the back and sell it at a discount. And you can't borrow another buck from the bank or buy another case of booze. You bust Sign the Sign your life out. away. He didn't have the money. No, that's tough. That's tough. I can believe that in this day and age, what the fuck is this world coming to? That's what I say every day. I can't. This. Tomorrow night. It's a double date. I can't tomorrow night. I gotta meet Tootie. You could meet Tootie. You could fucking come early and then Tommy. still go. Fuck the beautiful. That fucking family, they live in the five towns there. You know, these two boys got a lot of money. Maybe the family owns all. Who stays in front of the crime scene? I had a meeting with Tootie around 11 o'clock. I was ordering the dessert when they were eating dinner. When they were having coffee, I was asking for a check. Damn, I would feel this low. I thought he was really obnoxious. He kept fidgeting around. How you turn into the narrator? <laughs> he sure did push her. Look at him. <laughs> but Diane and Tommy Such a made us pr talk about her. You know? We were yeah, it really shows. Of a double date that you know, night. I hope it's nothing serious. Nobody Ooh. does that to me. Who the hell do you think you are, Frankie Valley or some oh. kind of big shot? I talk to you after what you just did to me? Forget it. I'm not talking to you. About Wait a second. Me. I thought you were gonna stand me. She's screaming on the street, and I mean loud, but she looked good. Liz no, Towns. this is so toxic. I'd like you to meet my friend Henry Hill. How do you do? Hi. My daughter says that uh, you're half Jewish. Look quicker that way. You know what I mean? Look, we don't stand in line. <laughs> How you doing, Gino? No worries, good. Who's counting? Over there. Oh, thanks a lot, Tony. Thank you. He's a superstar in the hood. <laughs> How are you? I'm glad to be here. Take my wife, please. <laughs> I'm proud Look, and Polly is, is happy. Of money for a kid like you. Hey, Karen. Hi. How you doing? Okay, Bruce. How are you? Don't you know him? Yeah. He lives across the street. No, he the neighbor. No, because she's loving the treatment. She's loving it. I get it. He was an exciting guy. He was really nice. Don't buy 
wigs that come off at the wrong time. Maury, sir, don't go. Hurricane winds. Let me call Maury. You can afford a Maury wig. Price to fit every budget. So call me now. Jim's being an unconscionable ball break. Okay, give him eight to five on Cleveland for the vig. What am I fucking nuts? What are you gonna do? Come on. You know it's always interest. Give him his money and let us just get the fuck out of here. Now he's done. Fucking commercial, you know. Look at your wig coming up. Maury's. Yeah, who's here? Believe me. Karis, slow down. He can come take my money. <laughs> Let me stop. Today. Your neighbor. Now Henry's angry. Oh, and he looking over here. Fucker, you want some? Huh? Hey, oh. Henry. I would say he has a good lawyer, but Henry got a good lawyer too. Shit. You're Are you right? How we feeling? He, he got you hiding the gun. That's the start of it. That's the start. I gotta admit the truth. It turned me on. <laughs> no! And he married her. Henry married her. It was like he had two families. The first time I was introduced to all of them at once, it was crazy. Most all of them were named Peter or Paul. Push and pee. Everybody, I thought I was drunk. Don't worry about that. He's gonna steal that here. Grown up, why doesn't he get you to an apartment? Hey, don't start, Mom. Get me to do. Do? What can you do? He's not Jewish. Get out of it! Yikes. You don't know how I feel! Feel? How do you feel now? You don't know where he is. You don't know who he's with. Daddy over there suffering too. <laughs> Look at him. Look at all three of them. Where have you been? Mom. We were worried to death. He leaving. Oh, oh my God. God. What's wrong with you, Henry? <laughs> what kind of person Mommy. are you? What is the matter with you? You son of a bitch, you I'll cut him off. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here now, look. On a card game, he pulls out a gun, the gun goes off, some kid gets killed. Well, you know, Junior drinks. Well, maybe she's impressed. Yeah, what a life. Give me a break. A lot of pantsuits and devil nuts. And they talked about how rotten their kids were and about beating them with broom handles. Forbid, what would happen if you had to go to prison? Karen. <laughs> Mickey. Karen. I know what I'm doing. I got things organized with these guys. Nigger stick up, man. That's who. You know what? I don't know why they gotta always None use that N word. Just toss it out there for nothing. Our husbands weren't brain surgeons. They were blue collar guys. I'm riding shotgun. And being together all the time made everything seem all the more normal. Oh, she's used to this now. It's only like that the first time. And there were things quiet no matter what they found. Girl, this is not normal. It was better to be yeah. polite and call the lawyer. And when we went to the islands of Vegas for vacation, we always went together. I can't do it, Karen. Why not? I just can't do it. I got something lined up. I get some money. How much do you need? Much? Go look in your closet. I wish I had her closet. Oh, you want me to bark too? <laughs> and he's New York, June 11th, Queens. Oh, okay. I know why I was confused back then because it was the beginning of him being older and it did say 1970s, but then it took us back to when he was younger. Sorry, I had a slow moment a few oh. scenes ago. Hi, oh, sit down, have a drink. Come on. Oh, come here. Let me go say hello. Hey, Billy, how are you? Thomas, you know me. I haven't seen you hey, in six Billy. fucking years. Hey, Billy, it's my ball. Billy, okay? Hey, Tommy, if I'm going to break your ball, I'll tell you to go home and get your shine box. Excuse my life. He's not the old he Tommy. Was he was the best. Long time. They didn't go up there and tell you. Uh, I don't shine shoes anymore. I mean, I just came home. I haven't seen you. you know, so you're not going to embarrass me in public. Okay. I'm going to write it down. You. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You just got out of prison. Strong. Sorry, Tommy gets a little loaded. He doesn't mean any disrespect. You don't mean any disrespect. No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. 
Got a little out of order yourself. Oh. Back him up, Billy, Billy. No. Drinks around the house. Time. See this? He's there. I kill home, and I want what I gotta get. You are so. You shouldn't be there, sir. Damn. Hey, this next level. I don't want to get blood on your floor. Hey, that's crazy. Right around here somewhere. I had to see him back. You too. How are you? What happened? Tell me so what happened. Well, so they're eating dinner me. now. <laughs> she done made them food. Anyway, you know what me? I need this knife. I'm gonna take this, it's okay? Okay, yeah. Just need it for bring it while. back, though, you know. Anyway, I'll, I'll bring your knife back if they do that. Anyway. Delicious. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> he said, he says it's a sin. It's a whole human. It's not a deer. You get yourself a nice girl. One, the dog, one dog goes one way and the other dog goes the other way. Well, one is going <laughs> east and the other one is going west. So what? And this guy's saying, what do you want from me? Looks like somebody we know. <laughs> they so wrong. They wrong. Murder was the only way that everybody stayed in line. You got out of line, you Murder. got whacked. Everybody knew the rules. Uh, we had a serious problem with Billy Bat's touchy thing. Tommy had killed a made guy. So no, this is going to come back on us. The girlfriend. So Sammy Davis Jr.? You got to see the show. Why don't you just leave it alone now? I mean, I understand what you said. You know, the guy's talent. Leave it at that. You cannot even say another man's talent. <laughs> and he didn't go home. Messy, messy. The guy who disappeared up the block from Christie. The one that made the beef on. Oh, yeah, yeah. You one night, and then he just disappeared. That was it. Now we lie into right. Polly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that thing we took care of upstate. Paul was just talking about how to get it out of there. Oh, so messy, guys. So messy. <laughs> what do you like, the leg or the They sick. They sick. I don't think you want to know, Karen. I set up Janice in an apartment. Why? You are too comfortable with the, with the girlfriend. Questions anyway. I bet she's a stay at home mom. <laughs> she's busy. No, because she's getting treated like the wife. Although we both sharing. What the hell? We don't care. I thought I heard someone say some spider spider. I thought it was Henry. You a fucking mumbling stud. You are alright, spider. I am alright. You ain't alright, you little. Which one? He has wait, wait, anger wait, problems. Uh, the Oklahoma kid. Shane? Oklahoma. Temper. Oh. He lost his mom. He don't even know what he did wrong. <laughs> hey, Karen, will you grow up? Stop. I'm still going to go out. Not without your car keys. Out. I'm telling you, I look in your face and I know that you're lying. You make her crazy. Oh, your head, go to your ready-made horse. That's all you're good for. You shot me, now you're making fun of me? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Tom? Ooh, I know that's right. <laughs> he already shot him. What's he gonna do? Why would you tag a nice him? Like, no, he really lost his mind. He's dead. Duh. Good shot. What do you want from me? You're gonna dig the fucking thing up. You're gonna dig the hole. You're gonna do it. I got no fucking lime. You She's at the girlfriend's house with her babies. Away from my husband. You hear me? Yes, I want you to know. She's sir. losing her mind. He's my husband. Get your own goddamn man. No, really. Oh my gosh. Damn, Karen. Yeah, I'm crazy. yeah you made him crazy. No, you don't. <laughs> this is not love. This is toxic. The truth was mm. that no matter how bad I felt. She ain't say I love him. She ain't say, you know, something like that. She said this is attractive. Like, what is... Why should she win? Mm. I should fucking kill you! She just wants to be loved. I'm sorry! Don't be sorry. He should. See you. See you. Hi, Polly. Hi, honey. Mm. How are you? Good. Karen came to the house. 
She's very upset. She's wild. And you, She's you got to take it easy. Coming over the house every day, commiserating the two of them. I can't have it. Right thing. You have to go home to the family, you understand? You got to go home. It was when you were first married. You were going to romance. It's going to be beautiful. I know how to talk to her, especially to her. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. that. She'll kill him, but she won't divorce. <laughs> it's like that sometimes. I, I can't, I swear. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Lions. I ain't going near any lions, Jimmy. Just throw them over the moats, right? Jimmy gonna feed them to the lions. Get the money. When we got home, we were all over the newspaper. Then I found out that the guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Gave Jimmy and me ten years like he was giving away candy. Ten years. Ten years. She is slowly losing her husband to the streets. In prison, dinner was always a big thing. We had a pasta course. Just like Roman noodles, chips, make your own little meals out of little things. <laughs> Johnny Deal did the meat. We didn't have a broiler, so Dang. Johnny did everything in pan. But we lived alone. I mean, we owned the joint. Yikes. <laughs> Why are we hiding it? Miss <laughs> Hill, come here. Letters to the parole board. What am I doing here? No, really. Where am I? I'm in jail. I can't stop people from coming to see me. Stop it. Let her do it. Let her do stop it. it. My kids down to the police station and get on welfare. Karen is gonna be okay. Um, my dad was in the same situation he was. Same game, everything. Obviously not Italian. But yeah, and my mama had to do what she had to do. She had four kids and she had to get on housing in Section 8 to get away from that abuse and that toxicness. So girl, you better do what you have to do and quit making excuses for I yourself. Never see anybody anymore. Hey, as long as he's on parole, he doesn't want anybody doing anything. Forget Polly. Oh, that's why he's selling drugs. He is not helping us out. Is he putting any food on the table? I don't want to hear a word about her anymore, Henry. Never. Never. Four years later. with what you just start looking for a new house okay i gotta go to pittsburgh in the morning those guys out there they owe me 15 grand i'm not talking about what you did inside you did what you had to do i'm talking about now from now here and now darn it but he's wild takes too many chances no i know that i know jimmy you think i would take chances like jimmy Ten years old and the fucking guy's gonna die in prison i don't need that so i'm warning everybody anybody fucking around with this shit you're gonna tell me right yeah that means anybody damn yeah yeah it was a real score. I He's in. He's in. To mix the stuff. Out. Within a couple of weeks, it got to be so big, I needed some help. Yeah. So I guess. They bring all the money to the probation office. It reminds me of like the Flintstones house. No more nut every week. No more bullshit. Uh, my dream comes true. The Lufthansa heist. So we won't, we won't deal drugs, but we will. Steal cars and steal everything. Tommy? Even Stax Edwards got in on it. We used to hang around the lounge and play guitar. It's too many people. That's just the way he was. He money hungry. The babysitter? That is ghetto. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You are business and only business. He lost focus a long time ago. This is going to be our downfall. But that just means more heat is on us. We hot. We don't need to be in the bars. We don't need to be gathered together. I bought it for my wife. I love that car. I love that car. Look whose name it's on. Are you stupid or what? Did you hear what I said? Don't buy anything. Don't get anything. I think we need to leave. Damn. Don't buy nothing, he said. Don't get mad at your wife. You knew better. No, he really will. That's scary, not cute. <laughs> I think we should leave Jimmy alone. Hey, 
yourself something nice, okay? okay. You, yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's a thousand. Okay, I thought I seen three zeros. <laughs> His draws. Yeah, you're always fucking late. You're late for your own fucking funeral. Mm. Mm. Why? Because they didn't want to split the money? Why? Six million, you couldn't split? The truck like he was supposed to, he got stoned, went to his girlfriend's, and by the time he woke up, the cops had found the truck. I get it. I get it. I, I, I still gotta talk. What? 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 How about going back to prison? Polly just said he was crazy. I guess he could get made. There's nothing more Henry can do. You just gotta stop busting balls. Look at me. You hear me? His mind was going in eight different directions at once. It's going to be his last night. Well, as far as Jimmy knew, I was going along with the program. He's laying there full of fucking blood. I'm out of breath. I got blood all over my fucking skull. Never knew how close he'd come to getting killed. Even if I told him he no, was never really. going to kill you. He wasn't going to kill you. And he ki he's killing him. He what? Oh, what is he doing? Oh. Frank, let's chop him up. All right. All right. All right. Crew, I wouldn't trust not not a soul, not a soul, and you should be able to trust not a soul. He's missing. I know something happened. He's drunk and fell asleep somewhere. I go looking for him. What the fuck you want me to tell Bell? It's a fuck time. Up all night. All right. I'll see you later. Oh gosh, even. I don't know who he was, but yeah, the one that. It's in my mama's name. It's in my mama's name. We cool. We cool. The same outfit as that night. That night. Oh my gosh. And another one. And another one. I knew Jimmy. He had the cash. It was his. It's for connections. Still. Months after the robbery, they were finding bodies all over. It took them two days to thaw him out for the autopsy. He was so excited, you'd think he was being made. He must have made four calls to Tommy's house. We always called each other good fellas. Like you'd say to uh, somebody, you're gonna like this guy, he's all right. Become a member of a crew, you've got to be 100% Italian so they can trace all your relatives back to the old country. It means you could fuck around with anybody just as long as they aren't also a I member. mean, he did a lot. It's like a license to steal. Maybe it's that's why he made it. Just as far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. I thought Tommy was a loose screw, like he just lost his mind. Nobody's here. Oh! Oh! Who's this? We just had a job and we did it. Fuck. Fuck. It was revenge for Billy Bats. Oh. And a lot of other things. They even shot Tommy in the face so his mother couldn't give him an open coffin at the funeral. <laughs> at the hospital and driving back to the house for dinner that night i didn't even know you had a brother pick up some <laughs> Pittsburgh stuff i knew i was gonna get stuck for the money i only bought the damn guns because he wanted them and now he didn't want them he got all them guns <gasps> Got into an accident right now, driving over here. I told him about the accident and I said I was partying all night. Now my plan was to drop off my brother at the house and pick up Karen. It's the first time I seen I, I went to the hospital, I started out to get you, I had to stop somewhere. Makes I had to start braising the beef, pork butt, and veal shanks for the tomato sauce. Fry up before dinner just as an appetizer. <laughs> he had a whole plan. About an hour. So I asked my brother Michael to watch the sauce and Karen and I started out. Not Karen being paranoid too. I know the girlfriend was. I don't know if the wife was. Look at them. <laughs> this, this is bad. <laughs> hey, this is bad. 
fucking morning, I'm telling you. I mean, maybe they're not tripping, but I really think they are. My plan was I had to get home and get the package ready for Lois to take on her trip. Henry says don't let the sauce stick. He is stirring it. I think we should be nice to her. I didn't have the time and the flight number thanks to her. Yeah. I don't think we should have did that while taking care of business and paranoid. He didn't do it. He helped did it, but she did it too. And now look at her. She is strung out. There is no stopping this anymore. Yeah, she can get help, but look how bad it is. <laughs> what was the point? I gotta go home and get my hat. Your hat? Get your fucking hat. What are you kidding me? I don't care. I need my hat. I, I don't think we should have brung her in on it. Honk the horn so she can go flush the drugs. Honk it. Honk it. For a second, I thought I was dead. She's too drugged. So you flushed all of it? She hides it in her. This movie is so messy. Oh, so they was following him. Phone tap, surveillance, everything. I just knew he was tripping. <laughs> he going down. That is not cake batter. It's drugs. Karen finally got her mother to put her house up for my bail and I was out. Her I mother's house. This. See, Jimmy knew if Paulie found out he was in the drug deals with me. No. She flushed Karen. it. It's like a duh. I think they would have found it too. Do that. Why? It was in the kitchen. Do that, oh my gosh, they stressing me out. I feel like I'm in the relationship. <laughs> you know, I can be trusted now, Paulie. I'm clean. On my kids, I'm clean. They looked in my eyes. But I got nowhere else to go, Paulie. You're all I've got. And I really, really need your help. Now I gotta turn my back. No more protection. That's because you guys didn't invest any of your money. It all went to fashion and nice houses and nice cars and nice wardrobes. No investment. Everything go high. Sobered him up. Very good. Thanks, Yeah, because don't he still have that six million that he didn't split? Alright, don't forget. You gotta call me. Alright. Why would I mean to get to him I get it, but why why her? Uh, don't do it. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. She don't either. He's about to kill her. <laughs> no, because I really wanna know. Was he about to really kill her? Our life. <laughs> That's what happened. You all right? Our yeah. life and our. So I met Jimmy in a crowded place we both knew. I got there 15 minutes early and I saw that Jimmy was already there. But I had the feeling Jimmy was trying to sense whether I was going to rat him out to save my neck. I know where he is. He's hiding now. He's Problem going Anthony on vacation. I'm on. I I'm in trouble with the law. Don't trust it. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida Damn. alive. We used to be brothers, and now we're not. I'm trying to, I'm He's doing it. Yeah, what is this? He's legitimately broke. Don't I have some kind of contact with them? So he's no. snitching? No, wait a minute. I can't do this. I can't do this, Henry. I can't. I, I can't do it without you, okay? So you do whatever, but. I'm a happier witness, a better witness. I'd like you to be with them. You want Henry. They don't want me. Oh. Talking about cocaine. Conversation Ooh. after conversation. Talking. And he told, he told everything. Oh, the whole crew. It's done. My house was in my mother in law's name. My cars were registered to my wife. That's all you'd ever have to know I was alive. They in court with you. He has to point him out. <gasps> he does. He does. Damn. Uh, the record reflects that Mr. Hill has identified the defendant, Paul Cicero. I had paper bags filled with jewelry stashed in the kitchen. I had a sugar bowl full of coke next to the bed. People call them rats thing. When I was broke, I would go out and rob some more. 
to be ran every and now it's <laughs> all over when the tables turn and that's the hardest part right after i got here i ordered some spaghetti with marinara sauce and i got egg noodles and ketchup I get to live the rest of my life like a really oh sorry henry hill is still in witness protection program in 1987 he was arrested in washington Okay, I don't know why I couldn't pronounce that. I'm so sorry. I had a blind, <laughs> a little dumb moment. Narcotics, narcotics conspiracy. And he received five years probation. Since 1987, he has been clean. How are he doing today? Henry! <laughs> In 1989, Henry and Karen Hill separated after 25 years of marriage. Paul died in 1988 in prison. Illness, he was 73. Jimmy is currently serving 20 years to life since for a murder in New York State Prison. He will be eligible parole in 2004 and he will be 78 years old. It's past 2004. Where he at? <laughs> Dang. That, yeah, this movie was beyond crazy. I mean, let's talk about it with Nora because at this point, this was messy. Okay, crime family stole 5,000 million, more than 20 million today in cash and jewels. New York, John F. Kennedy Airport. Here are true stories of people who carried this heist. Oh, oh, oh that was Henry. Oh, Jesus, Henry, you look like a snitch. <laughs> no, because they was going to kill him, so I don't blame Henry. She... All I can say is don't jump off the porch if you're not ready. When he was young, it, it looked like heaven to him. He had broke dreams. When you see people with money or they have a good job and they have nice cars and have big houses, you want to see how they get there. You know, you want to be the next person to live like that. It, it's it's like a duh, especially if you grew up, grew up in poverty and you literally had a strict household like Henry, had all them kids in the house, dad always angry, you know, mom always putting up with it. It, it gets tiring, it gets bearing. So when you go outside and you can find that part of freedom and you can find that part of, yeah, this is home, this is where I can fit in, this is where the people will love me. And it was like that at first, it was. You grow up, you get into more drama, you start being more crazy, your mentality start changing, you lose focus. And that's definitely what Henry did and everybody else, they lost focus. It wasn't about business anymore. It was more about revenge anger our reactions how we reacted and then killing people off of what they said or joking around or stuff like that and it's just like i get it you know you have to bring that fear in people you have to respect me you know this is what i'm working hard for the power the controlling the respect the money but at the end of the day it always comes with something you know you want that help okay i'm gonna help you but you have to do more but you have to do something for me or it's interest you know like it's more it's more than money that comes with it. And like I said, we all have different types of heaven. Your heaven might be something else. My heaven might be something else. We all have different things that make us happy. But I will say this, when you become money hungry, you lose focus. You're not humble anymore, you know? And yeah, Henry was one of those kids that, you know, he, he, wanted, he wanted it. He wanted to be a gangster. He wanted to live that life. He wanted to see what it was all about. And at the end, he snitched on all of them. And like I said, yes, they all was going to kill him because they thought he was already snitching. They did, but come to find out, nope, he wasn't. But then at the end, he did. Now, Jimmy and Tommy is one two people that I would be scared of. Like, honestly, them two people was crazy, crazy. Of course, Tommy before Jimmy, but put them two together, oh, it was chaos. Henry, he was just there for the ride. Of course, he joined in. He cleaned the bodies. He made the holes and all that. But he wasn't more so say he wasn't here for the killing. But he did watch the killing happen. Polly, he was the lead boss, you know. He didn't have to do much, you know. You worked for him. He sat back and just collected all the cash and told you what to do and what not to do. Don't cross him. Don't cross him or you will pay for it. Karen, like she said, this whole thing just turned her ass on. Like she was turned on from jump. And I get it, you're, 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 you're 21, you're living life. Like, I have a boyfriend that can give me anything, spoil me anyway. But like I said, that's the honeymoon stage. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing, nothing, I don't care. I believe that, nothing. <laughs> nothing, especially if you're doing wrong, wrong will come back on you. Karma will come right back around and bite you in the ass. And when the tables turn, baby. Henry probably still paranoid to this day. I wonder where they at, like that's crazy. I would say um, the Godfather was good, but Goodfellas had way more details. 
just way more details i was more invested um but what we can say about this one it was messy it was messy like it started getting disturbing with the killings it was only two hours and 30 minutes long and i felt like i just watched a four hour movie because they put so much detail into the uh, movie like oh my god we can keep going about this we can keep going about this um yeah definitely like i said i can relate far as uh obviously not italian not a mafia but the street life when it came to my family and how i grew up as a kid you see certain things you think crime is good crime is okay because that's all you see the people around you and when you grow up you see that's not the right way to go about it that's not the real life you want to live unless you want chaos unless you want drama and you want to be paranoid every time you come out the house Ooh, so i can relate but it's not the life for me and i can definitely say that but you will like henry like henry you will live and learn when i was young i had a, i had a horrible attitude like i had a horrible attitude because i didn't know what love was love was abusive love was anger love was calling people names and just being mean and once you sit back and you grow up and you see you don't have to be like that you can heal and yes there is a process of healing it took me years to heal but once you do that i promise you you'll feel so much better waking up you know you'll have your days but it will be so much more it won't be so much stressful as when you had all that attitude and when you was being crazy and you was being so just so extra you know but i will say you live and learn and this one was a good movie okay we're gonna get off here because i can keep talking this is so much details but yeah the honeymoon stage is over you see how their life came at the end and again when the tables turn i can de definitely give this a nine out of a ten a ten out of a ten it wasn't bad um, it was messy and it was starting to get disturbing. But overall, it was a good movie that was entertaining and you was invested in. And I'm going to be honest about that. So make sure you guys put your opinions down below. Don't forget to smash like button, you guys, and hit their own part of family. As we explore movies, check them off the list and see them through my eyes. Uh, make sure you guys hit the link down in the description. Go see the full-length reaction to movies and TV shows and to this movie. Um, pick a tier. You do not have to bring your own copy. It's all there. Just, just show me your homegirl love and this channel love as we explore movies and TV shows. Now let's get to the next one.